let's let's load that home now it's it, now that's a slight difference versus excel instead of saying close and, and load it says close and apply same story we load that to power bi okay so let's go to power bi so now you see in power bi we have the query here on the right here in this area so here you have your query and as I said, here are the, the, the fields, the visuals that I can use to generate the report. And Power BI has three views. It has one, which is the report view, the dashboard view. Two, it's a data view here. And three, it's the relationship view. We will talk about it in a second. Now, if I click on the first one, it's what I see here. It's an empty canvas. If I click on the second one, I will actually see the data. So that's the closest to Excel for Power BI. You see the actual data. And if I, if I click here, it will take me to the relationships. Let's keep that for later. So here's your data. And here's your canvas, your dashboard area to create a report. And I can go where? To my visuals area here. This is a visual area here, okay, where I can actually select what visual I want to use. So I said we don't like pie charts, but we can use bar charts. So I, I will click on a visual. So you have two options. I can click on a visual, and the visual will like preload in, X, in Power BI. Okay? Just click on a visual, any visual. And now it's waiting for us to actually say what data we're going to load to that visual. So you have two options. Each visual, each visual has its own, what? Its own settings. Now, here it's the query, the sales query. If I click here, I have all the fields. One of the reasons that I did the net sales and the VAT, I didn't plan to use them in my report. So gross sales, it's fine. You can either drag and drop that inside the visual. So you just drag and drop that, drag the gross sales and drop it inside the report. Or let's delete it. How do I delete it? If you scroll down here on the fields area, you will see that this is part of the fields. Or you can just uncheck this item from here. So one way to get data into a Power BI visual, you get the data and you just throw it inside. Another way to do it is you get the field, the column, and you drag and drop it here in this area. So this area, let me like create some space. It has, with a visual selected, okay, always, it has the different options. So for this chart, I can have like the, the X axis, the Y axis, the legend, and the small multiple. I will explain what's a small multiple in a second. So if I take the gross sales and I put it where? In the Y axis, the, the X axis. So let's put it in the X axis. Where is the X axis? It's here. That's what will happen in my visual. So I need the Y, and you see the Y is putting the sales there, but it doesn't help, of course. Now I can take the category and put it in the X axis, and now I have my categories. One more time. You can do it, just drag and drop the category inside the visual, drag and drop the sales inside the visual, and now you have a visual. Now, the, the text size is very small. I cannot read it. So you, you can select the visual and edit the visual. You can go here that says format your visual. And, and, and because it has many, many options, you don't need to search for that. You just type size and it will give you all the related settings, options for the formatting of that visual related to sales. So it says, X axis, Y axis, data labels, properties. Okay. So here it's, I want to change the category one. Okay. 
So I increase that, let's make it like 16. If I want also to change the Y axis, I will go here, find the Y, the y axis and make that bigger. I can also put labels, like you would put labels in Excel. Labels, and I put labels, and say data labels, and I can turn the data labels on. And now I have data labels on, but the data labels that they're on, they're not very visible, okay? So I, I can go here, expand the data labels, and try to see if I can fix the size. Or again, search, size, and then go here and start looking for something that relates to data labels. Here it is, nine. So I can make that bigger. So if we have a chart, we have the sales by category. Do you see beverages anywhere here? No. Why? Because although we had beverages in the original data, beverages were filtered in my query because that was the mandate for that report. We wanted a report without beverage. Actually, I see that grains and cereals, they are quite like different. So I would like to compare all the others. And let's say that I, my boss is calling and say, hey, take cereals out as well. So there are two ways to do it. I can go back to the query and cut down the data from the source. So how can I go back to the query? Two ways to do it. One, you go to the Home tab, and you can select here, Transform Data, or what is that? Transform Data here, in the middle of the menu, okay, Transform Data. If I click on the Transform Data here, it will open again Power Query. Now, what did my boss say? That he doesn't want to have cereals. So I come and I add a new step. I just deselect that. And so simple, we have no cereals now. Although it's loaded in the query, I cut it. And I press close and apply. Look what will happen to the chart. Now it's updated with no cereals and no beverages. And I need to go and, and, and fix my chart, my visual title, okay? So the title of the visual, so you just type title here. You select the visual, so these are categories. Be careful. These are categories. This is what? This is this is gross sales. This is the chart. This is the, the visual title. And this, the size is small. So let's try to make it bigger. See? We have sales by category, excluding beverage and cereals. Now we, we know what we see here. 